Well, this is a new video series that I'm going to label tools you need for your RV. Now, I have been making videos maybe once every other year showing you what I carry in my RV as far as tools, and I'll continue to do that. However, from time to time, I'll run across a tool that I think, hey, that's kind of a neat idea to have in your RV, and so I'll just make a short video like this one. An occasion to replace one of these on a friend's RV not too long ago and we had a heck of a time getting these nuts off because the studs are fairly long and these are three-eighths of an inch nuts and three-eighths of an inch if you didn't know is essentially the same thing as 10 millimeter there's about 14 thousandths of a difference between three-eighths and 10 millimeter with 10 millimeter being just slightly larger either one of them will work so the tool I'm recommending is one of these this is a three-eighths inch nut driver and this is long enough that it will actually go down and fully contact the nut. Now you probably don't need the insulation, but you know, just in case, uh, you're not going to be shorting anything out, you know, because you could have a piece of metal maybe here that you can contact and then you would be shorting across it. So on an RV or anything that you work on live voltage, it's good to have an insulated driver. There's actually another way to do it. You can buy just something like this. This is a quarter inch spinner handle. And then you can get yourself a deep socket and make your own. And actually I did that here. But this is a 10 millimeter because I wanted to see the difference. And then I just put some heat shrink on there. Just hold this from coming off. And again, even though this is 10 millimeters, it easily screws and unscrews this nut. Now this is made by Vera, a company in Germany, and it was $15 somewhere on there. This one I made, and the handle, heat shrink, and the socket all together came to about the same price. So I didn't really save any money, but it's kind of nice, you know, I did it myself. Uh, the two advantages of this one is that you have a deeper socket, and also the length of the whole thing is a little bit smaller. The disadvantage is this is certified for a thousand volts and this of course is not certified but hey you're working 12 volts so it really doesn't matter at least in this application. So either way you go this is a recommendation for a handy tool to have in your toolbox. 